Hello and welcome back. It's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth, and today we're going to be playing Foggington. Now, if you haven't already guessed it from the title, we are back with Megan O33's, um, what would you call them? Towns, cities, metropolises, uh, with a play on words, I guess, this time with Foggington. Now, I'm sure that you've picked up on the fact that this kind of, the name almost comes across as uh, a famous uh, TV series that kind of casts you a little bit to a, a period where you can see Sleuth is dressed for the occasion, um, you've got far more decorative street lights and uh, cobbled street stones. It kind of feels very fitting given the name of today's puzzle. Of course, tons of fog, although given that time of, of and period of time, it could well be that this is um, smog instead rather than fog in London. That would also be entirely appropriate. Right, uh, anything to mention about today's puzzle before we take a look at it? Um, two back-to-back -back from Megan O Double Three. I hope you guys don't mind. I think the fact that it's another fog puzzle, it's another highly rated puzzle, I'm sure you're going to be absolutely fine with it. Let's take a look at today's puzzle and rule sets with Foggington by Megan O Double Three and the following set of rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Place the digits one to nine once each in every row, in every column, and in every three by three box. Nothing unusual there. A black dot between cells indicates cell values with a two to one ratio, and a white dot between cells indicates cells with a consecutive values. Not all dots are given. So if this is a two, for example, this would have to be one or four so that they are indeed two cells away. Uh, sorry, two cells away, you know, in a two to one ratio, one cell is double the other. If this was the two, this would have to be one or three. You can see the white crop dot creeping into the fog there so that they are indeed consecutive. We also have adjacent cells connected with an X must sum up to 10. So if that is indeed a two, this cell would have to be an eight to make sure that these two cells add up to 10, these two cells add up to 10 as well. Adjacent cells connected with a V must sum up to five. So if this is one, four, this is one or four, so that these two cells together do actually add up to five. Last but not least, the obvious statement, the grid is partially covered with fog. Correctly placing the digits will clear the fog around that cell and no guessing is required. So if this two was indeed correct, all of these cells that are in, covered in fog, but also adjacent to it, including the diagonals, they will be revealed and hopefully that will give us more information to continue solving this puzzle. That's all the rules we have for today. Uh, as always, if you want to play along, link will be in the description down below for you to do so. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. So the obvious thing is that three cells that are black crop key dots uh, means that this is from one, two, four, and eight. Uh, of course, the other black crop key dot numbers are three and six, but if you have three cells that are that do not repeat, it cannot be three, six, we're gonna run out of digits. It means that this center digit is two or four. It means that these cells are one or three to add up to five, one with a four, three with a two. These are gonna to have to be from two, four, or eight, and or one actually. Um, sorry, I'm just having a moment there. I don't think they can be eight. You see, once you select three of these cells, whether it's one, two, four, or two, four, eight, I know that the two and four are actually in here. If I place an eight at the end, the X is gonna force a two down here and then it will break, break the black crop key dot. I'll be left with one, four, eight, which are clearly not uh, consecutive with black crop key dots, if that made sense. So there is no eight, which actually gives me my first digit because it has to be one, two, four with a two in the middle and then a three above it. Yes, two, three, and neither of these are two. I don't need the corner pencil marks. This is now six, nine pair to go with a one, four. And then these are five, seven, eights to complete the box. Right, a five in here would have to go to four or six. If it's six, it's three, that's not possible. If it's four, I guess I could do two or eight, can I? I can't do two, I could do eight, it would have to be eight, and then two, and then that wouldn't be consecutive anymore. So no four, no six, no five. Um, eight won't work because the neighbor would be seven or nine, and neither of these can go on a black crop key dot. So that is definitely a seven. 
this is six or eight again it can't be six because that would be three that would be eight that would be four to be half of that and then that would be six to get back to ten and this will be connected to five or seven it's not seven so it is connected to five and this is an eight down here lovely I was just thinking I, this can't be one four. Oh yeah it can't be one four because no it can be so if I put a one in here that would work four one that would be four that would be two yeah so I don't know enough yet what else do I know it's a good question I'm sorry uh there six looking at a six nine that's nine that's one that's four that's six lovely kind of keeps pointing me back towards this it's catching my attention it's just it's not a very interesting oh hang on it's not one or four anymore it is two three and therefore two three and therefore two three again now if it is two it would have to go to three because it can't be one and if it's three it would have to be two because it can't be four so another two three we that means we do know what this is this is four seven eight let's have a think if this is a four this would be three or five can't be a five on a black crop kid up can't be a three on this black crop kid up because that would be a six so that's not three or five that is not a four seven oh same problem with the eight that we had in here oh in there i should say if this is eight that would be seven or nine neither of which can go on a black crop kid up half of seven is three and a half double of seven is 14 so that has to be seven this has to be six or eight and this would have to be th three or four and it's not three because we've got a two three pair in the column that's four that's eight don't know what these are we'll think about that in a bit that's not seven if that's eight that's seven or nine if that's four that is five all of which seems possible right in here what do i have so, I mean, the column has one, five, six, seven, and nine. One, five, six, seven, and nine. And the seven can't be there. And this, when you think about the digits, one, five, six, seven, and nine, again, remove the seven because it's in there. Which of these four digits is consecutive? Well, it can only be the five and six. This would be one or nine. And then up here is seven with one or nine. Is that five, six resolvable? No. And then in here, I have another one, nine, clearly not on this cell, plus two and three. So this is one, two, three. And this is, when I say not on this cell, I mean, the nine can't go there. I think the rest can. And then up here, I have another one, nine and a five. Five can't be on the uh, on the x because otherwise it would be a second five so that is the five that's the one nine that gives me just more one nines excellent one would be two two would be four it can't be a one because you can see that this is three consecutive digits and i can't have one with a double two around it so the two would have to go to four and then the three would have to go to six all of which seemingly are allowed not the two the two would require one and three and we've already established there is no one so one goes, two goes, and that's two, four, or three, six. And I think it always means that there has to be a three in here, doesn't it? No, sorry, a five. Because whether it's four or six, six would be five and seven, four would be three and five, so the five is always there. So these are three, five, seven. Let's just think about that. Five can't be on the X, so this is three or seven. And I said there has to be a five, didn't I? So it's either three, four, five, or seven, six, five. That's always five. That is six. That is five. That is not five. Because it's seven or nine, it can only be the eight and then the four. And three, seven in here means that's another three, seven. This is not three, seven. It's not one, nine. It's either two, eight, or four, six. It's not 4, 6 because it would break this cell. So it's 2, 8, and we actually have a direction, 2 and 8. Then we have another 3, 7, and another 4, 6. And I'm not sure I can resolve them. Can't resolve them yet. Actually, 1, 9 pair, staring at a 1, 7, 9. Come on, sleuth. No. Uh, 7. 
I've ignored this long enough. In fact, this is quite interesting in general. So let's have a think about this. I need a high digit in here because these two are low. The high digit is not six or eight, it's seven or nine again, which gives me a seven, nine pair, which makes this one or three, which makes this two or four to add up to five. It's clearly not a four. Let me just double check this before I move forward. I'm happy with it. That can't be a four. That's a two, that's a three. Therefore, that's a seven. Therefore, that's a nine. That's also not nine, but it doesn't actually resolve things for me. It's still one, two, three. Yeah, these two cells are consecutive. In fact, I mean, again, let's play that trick. We've got four cells that are remaining. It includes one, seven, and five, and six. So clearly the five, six, seven are in here with a definite six to join them up. Then I have another five or seven and a one. Now this is not five or seven, that's the six. So this is the five or seven. Then I have another five, seven, then I have a one. And you can see that five in here would be one or seven. And you can see that seven in here would be one or five. Not brilliant, but acceptable. One five pair. Okay. Getting tricky now. So where am I going with this? So, I mean, this white crop dot sort of creeping up through the... F I mean, not creepy, but, you know, visible through the fog is catching my attention. I just need to think around how to use it. So I know it doesn't have a one, two, three, four. If it is five, it's five, six, or six, seven. I mean, so it is five, six, seven, in fact, no seven. That's the only remaining digits that can actually be consecutive incredibly because I have a four that can't be there yet so the four is up here yeah and then I still need to place a nine so four and nine one nine would be eight which isn't available so that would be four this is three or five both of which are available I think yeah that gives me nine in here it gives me two digits I can just pencil mark I'm gonna say one and eight then I have another one, five, seven, and a three, and that's the three, and this is one or five. Again, it's not a seven. That's the only place for a seven, which gives me a one, which gives me a five, which gives me a nine, a one, no ones. In fact, only place for a nine is down here. Excellent, and I've made a mistake. Back up, back up, back up. I mean, it's working, but I mean, flawed logic, one, gives me five, gives me seven, and then a digit that I actually needed to place in there, nine. So seven, one, nine, five, one, no ones, only place for a nine, that's better. Not resolved. It's okay. Uh, is resolved. Two, four, three, seven, three. How are we doing for time? This is... Kind of a bit of a breeze. Famous last words before I massively screw it up now. Six, seven pair. One, six, nine. No, nine. One, six. No, one or nine. Actually a six. A one, a nine. A five, a six. Doesn't help me with my three, five. A six helps me with seven and six. Four and three, five. Interesting. One helps me with eight and one. Now, what do I need in here? So I need a two, four, and six. Then a bunch of pencil marks at the top. It's four, five, eight. Four and eight gives me five, five, and then four, eight, which are not resolved. Then I have one, two, three, four, five. I need six, seven, nine. Six and nine are not there. That's seven. Uh, six is not there. Six and nine. That does help because that gives me nine, one, nine, one. Four, eight, not resolved. Two, threes. I'm kind of surprised how persistent they've been. So two, oh, hang on, five gives me three, which gives me two, three, two, three. 
and then I know what this digit is. It's a seven and uh, a bunch of pencil marks that I'm just going to quickly put in one, two, three, eight. I need a two, which is in here and a four that would help. Very sneaky four there at the end, kind of hidden until the very end, five and an eight for the finish. Beautiful puzzle, Megano double three. Uh, 800 souls means it's possibly that it's been featured somewhere else, but typically these fog puzzles not, you know, get not far off a thousand in general, even before I get to them. Hope that you guys enjoyed the puzzle in the video. See you back for the next one. Bye-bye for now.